I'm Jennifer and I'm so happy you're here. Today I have a wonderful recipe for low carb keto brownies. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe. I have all of my ingredients measured out and ready to go. This makes it super quick when it's time to put it together and get it all mixed up. I am all ready to start putting my recipe together. First, I'm going to put in one cup of almond flour. I'm starting off with the dry ingredients and I just have a little rubber whisk, a little silicone whisk. I'm going to start whisking these up. Then I'm going to put in one quarter cup of cocoa powder. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of baking powder and I'll put this whole recipe down below so you can easily print it or make this yourself. Okay, now I have two thirds cup of granulated sweetener. This is a coconut sugar. I'll put that in and I have some salt. One half teaspoon of salt. This recipe goes together super quick. It takes longer to get the ingredients out than it does to put the recipe together. All right, now we'll start adding in the wet ingredients. I'm gonna add in the vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla, two beaten eggs. I just mix these up with a fork but we're gonna use the mixer so it'll be just fine if you don't wanna take the time to do that. I have three tablespoons of water and I have some melted butter. You can use melted butter, this is one third cup, or you can use coconut oil or MCT oil. And that's just a coconut oil in the liquid form. All right, now that I have that in, I'm just gonna turn this on and get this mixed up. And there we have it. As you can see, it just took a minute to mix this up. I'll just go around with my spatula and make sure that we don't have any pieces that aren't mixed. Okay, everything's ready to go. Now it's time to pour this into my pan. I have an eight by eight grease pan. This eight by eight baking dish is just greased with some butter. Now this brownie mix is a little bit thinner than what you might be used to if you make brownie mix out of a box or even from scratch. Pour it all in and spread it out smooth with a spatula. Now let's get our brownies into an oven preheated at 350 degrees. We'll put these in and bake them for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I took the brownies out of the oven. They smell amazing. Now I'm gonna let them cool. Now that the brownies have cooled, I'm gonna lightly cover them and put them in the refrigerator to set even longer. And here's how the brownies turned out. I am so happy you're here for this super easy recipe. I hope you try this recipe and enjoy it as much as I do. I would be so happy if you subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you next time.